In this video, let's take a look at how you can change and edit the navigation button on your iPhone and let's get started. So it kind of depends on what you mean, but most likely what you are referring to is this kind of floating button on the screen, which you can use to navigate your iPhone, right? So you can click it and it does give you the options, but how can you change it? Well, for that, you need to open up the settings app of your iPhone, make sure you are on the main page and from there, click on the accessibility. If you choose the accessibility, then fine, touch. And the thing, the floating button is basically called assistive touch. So just click on that, make sure it is turned on, of course, and then you can customize what happens. So there are three levels. So you can choose what happens when you tap it once, when you double tap it, or when you long press it. So you can choose what happens. Obviously it can be set to none for the double tap or whatever. But for the single tap, I have it to open the menu. And the menu is right here, so the menu can get customized. So you can reset it to make sure it looks like this by default, but you also have the ability to remove or add the icons right there, and you have the ability to customize them by clicking on it. So I can choose it, for example, that the camera, as well as, I don't know, the home button is going to be part of the menu. So what that means is that whenever I click on the folding button, it gives me the option to access the camera immediately or go to the home screen. So that's pretty useful. This is how you can customize and change the navigation button on the iPhone. Keep in mind that, as I said, you always have the ability to reset it to the original state. So if you, you know, play around with it too much, you can always make it go back to the most useful settings. So that's it. And let me know below what you think. Most definitely subscribe for more and I'll catch you in the future uploads.